How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Otosh, and this is another episode of Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy, and in today's episode... Man, you know what? My throat fucking hurts. And I'm, I'm like, thinking about... Am I even gonna fucking go through three episodes today without fucking somehow dying out on you? Just shutting up completely? I don't know, let's do ray missions, because we were kind of doing them last episode, and let's just continue. Also, you know what? Three episodes ago, we hit episode 69, and I didn't even say nice. Well, I'm saying nice right now. Nice. Episode 69. Not too many Let's Plays on my on my Let's Play channel you gotten to episode 69. No, oh, man, my throat. I got an energy drink here, by the way. I don't know if you'll be able to guess its name. I'll give you five seconds. Guess the name. Guess what it's called. Any guesses? It's called Super Fucker 9000. You know what? I actually had it a long time ago, and I thought they just simply went out of... Just disappeared. But they seemingly resurfaced, and I know I'm on a timer and I'm fucking drinking an energy drink here, don't give a fuck, but yeah, I'm not giving a fuck. Also, where did I get this car from? Don't really re Oh, Ray, you didn't sit next to me. I wanted to touch you on the shoulder when I... when I reverse. By the way, so, you know what's funny about this mission? Um... Wait, what? No. The CIA have a bridge, blah, 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 find another route across. So, in the original uh, Let's Play of this game... Actually, I don't remember how the fuck this played out. But basically, the bridge is under surveillance by CIA, right? But I didn't give a fuck. So I went here with a sniper rifle, and I killed everybody. And it was a pain in the ass to get to the airport like that. With this game, it actually tells you the route you're supposed to take, which is the underground tunnels. And in the original version, I, I completely forgot there's an underground tunnel system that actually leads to the airport. Making this mission... What the fuck? Making this... Why did the whole screen shook like that? It fucking scared the fuck out of me. What the fuck was that? Yeah... I didn't fucking know that I can just simply use a tunnel to get to the airport, and it's like twice as easier than actually using the, uh... than actually using... Watch it. Than actually using the fucking bridge. Like, the game tells you not to use. And I was like, bridge? Okay, got it. I heard bridge. And I love bridge. My favorite game. So here you go. In the original, I tried to use the bridge, and I actually succeeded. It was just a pain in the ass because I had to, I had to carefully get out of the car every once in a while and take down all of the CIA agents before I made any any progress on the on the bridge. Because there's a fuck ton of those guys on the bridge. Also, I said something a while back about how. Oh yeah, is Super Fucker 9000 any good? It's alright, it's like a fucking basic ass energy drink. Could be called anything, it just has a stupid name. A while back I had an energy drink called Albanian Paradise. That was uh, kind of the same, I'm actually starting to think that those are the same drinks. Just under two different names. Yeah, so I said I'm running out of energy drinks, but I'm just keep running into new ones. Cars in this bridge. Ah, I fucking hate this stupid tunnel. See, the problem I have with this tunnel is that everybody in it acts like a fucking moron. They're constantly changing lanes. They're fucking not allowing me to get through quickly. I have to drive really slowly because these fuckers are changing lanes. They're crushing into walls for some reason. They're just doing everything to piss me off. Aw, oh, CIA, what happened? You failed. Yeah, so this mission is this fucking easy. Look, I, I drank an energy drink and I still had plenty of time. See you around, baby. I think he gives you a message at some point and tells you that... Um, yeah, we gotta go and find... 
Yeah, we actually get a gift from Ray after all these missions we've done for him. Which I think is pretty interesting. Ray is such a strange uh, Grand Theft Auto character, because like, a lot of these characters from Grand Theft Auto 3, like Donald Love, he makes a reappearance in, in Vice City. Uh, but like, I don't think Ray appears in anything but Grand Theft Auto 3. And I think Asuka also doesn't appear in anything but Grand Theft Auto 3, but at least Asuka, like, we know a lot about her, I guess. But with Ray, it's kind of, I don't know, I kind of wish they maybe expanded on Ray. Like, maybe in Liberty City Stories you meet Ray or something, I kind of hope so. Because I think he's kind of an interesting character. My eyes fucking hurt. I feel kind of shitty today. I feel like I'm about to get a headache any, any moment. Yeah, so this is the only mission where we actually get a gift. And I know every mission we get paid. But I don't mean get paid, I mean get gift. Also, why is the GPS tracker underneath this building on the mini-map? You see that? You seeing it? That's a little weird. So the gift from Ray is a really fucking useful vehicle. I think he gives you a lot of shit. Also, he gives you a message. Take care of my bulletproof patriot. See you in Miami. Ray. This is what kind of made led me to believe maybe Claude actually did left for Miami. Like, he left for Vice City. Maybe he ended up working for Tommy. I wonder what Tommy's business looks like. Yeah, so this Patriot is actually bulletproof. Unfortunately, I got it in blue. Oh yeah, by the way, I wanted to check it out. That's not Grand Theft Auto. Wait. Oh, look, it's the twat internet cafe. Well, you gotta be fucking kidding me. They get ri rid of the... other oh, they are. Grand Theft Auto 1 screenshots. And Grand Theft Auto 2 screenshots. Only these two computers have them? Okay. I thought they got rid of them. And I was like, what the fuck? Why, why did they do that? Anyway, there's a mission later in the game that you actually need the Bulletproof Patriot for. I'm not sure which one it is. I mean, you don't need it. But, like, it's very useful to keep this car around, so... Also, I don't think I ever drove a Patriot in this game. It's just, like, a big, kind of bulky car. Kind of easy to fucking tip it over. But it, this one is unique because it's bulletproof. Unlike any other car in the game, which are not bulletproof. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it around. And I guess I'm gonna get my ass over to Asuka. What is this one weapon slot I have left? I think I was, like, Arsenal in this game kind of sucks. Also, what's up with the graphics of, like, guns? You look at the M4 and it's, like, like, the AK compared to M4 is, like, a completely different graphic. Like, two different people fucking made them. As a kid, I always, like, I think in San Andreas, the fist icon, I was always like, what the fuck is that supposed to be? I could never, like, figure out that that's a fist. Like, a closed-down fist. Let's go to Asuka. I guess. See what she's up to. Well, she's torturing Miguel currently, so... That's very nice. Also, the cool thing is that now there's a Yakuza Stinger appearing over here every time. It's a pretty nice little, little detail. I guess the Yakuza took over this construction site, even though it's been... It would be cool if the fucking Colombians would disappear from the neighborhood. Him. Still, he's revealed the extent to which Catalina fears your quest for revenge. She has three death squads dotted around Liberty, whose sole job is to hunt you down. Act as the bait and get the death squads to follow you to Pike Creek, where some of my men will be waiting for them. You know what, I think this is the exact mission I was supposed to use the Patriot for. Because I'll be getting shot at a lot in this mission. So I might want to actually have a car that doesn't fucking blow up immediately. So let's go go get the Patriot. Also, you know what I was supposed to do and I kind of messed up? I was... I meant to collect the packages. Since I have the whole map unlocked now. I meant to go collect the packages. But I didn't because I forgot. Also, I was kind of busy, I was playing uh, Sackboy, a big adventure. I tried to finish that, and I was like, okay, once I'm done with this game, 
I'm gonna go and collect these. But then I kind of didn't collect to finish the game because, I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of not like Sackboy: A Big Adventure would be a cool let's play to do because it's like levels are pretty evenly spaced out. It's like a shorter level, a longer level, so I feel like two levels per episode would be a pretty good idea. Where do I go? I guess I can take this route, right? So, but then the game ends, like you finish the story and you unlock an entire fucking new chapter. It's just that this chapter is full of like harder levels that are bonus. And you don't need to do them. But guys, something in my heart I think would break if I just left that let's play unfinished like that. And like I've been saying, I... Maybe around the time when I do a Sackboy Epic Adventure, I should do that bonus episode of Little Big Planet 3. I think that's a good idea. So that'll be like. I'll do a lot of like Little Big Planet related Let's Plays around that time. Also, good lord, do I wish Little Big Planet 2 get remastered or something because I fucking love 2. 2 is my favorite. Oops. Also, PS Vita. I love Planet's also really good. That'd be cool. The you know how I was talking about the the possible Game Pass answer by Sony. I'd absolutely love if they actually featured uh, PS Vita games because Golden Abyss Uncharted is, in my opinion, a really fucking good Uncharted game. It, it kind of sucks with the story department because it like completely leaves no impact on the overarching story. Even though it's supposed to be like, oh, it takes place before Uncharted 1. And Nate has like a different love interest in that one. But then you fucking know that he gets married with Elena. So it's like their love is completely just fucking whatever. Come over here. Got a surprise for you. Not bad, guys. I'm actually surprised he pulled through. You know what, I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna ignore the fact that this car is bullet. I'm just gonna drive it around, like, whatever. What it's not proof to is being tipped over and blown up. So I better keep, uh, keep that in mind. You know what, when I played this game first, I, I, I was around 2 when, uh, when I saw this game played first. I was like 2 years old by the, at the time. And my dad was playing it on the computer, and I was sitting, like, next to him watching that. And I still have memories of him doing all this shit. Because, we, I guess he played it for a very long fucking time. Because, I remember how long it took us to actually get to the third island. Was, like, I don't know, it took us like a fucking year. And the thing about it is that, um... We never finished it, unfortunately, because... Uh, my dad had to like format the computer, so uh, so we lost the save file and we didn't, and we never played it again. But funny enough, actually, when I was uh, first playing through Grand Theft Auto 3, before I did a let's play of it, because I I often like to play through the game before I do a let's play of it, just so I just so I'm familiar with the game and know what to do instead of getting myself lost on le in levels and shit. That's why when you watch my video, you might think I'm like I'm pretty good and I know what the fuck I'm doing. Because I played those games before, because I did it on purpose. I know some like, there's a, there is an appeal to playing a game for the first time and not knowing what to do and having to figure it out on a video. And I do that whenever I'm playing a puzzle game. Because, like, what the fuck is the appeal of me playing a puzzle game and then knowing exactly what the fuck to do? Arc Survival Evolved installed, that's nice. Maybe I'll record- oh, yeah, maybe I should, like, record it today. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Maybe I should record it today. I'm bulletproof, bitch. Maybe I should record it today, so I'm only gonna make two episodes of this uh, Let's Play, and then I'm gonna collect the packages. Because at this rate, I might actually finish this game before I collect all the packages, and I wanna fucking do that. Maybe I'll get an achievement. I don't know. Now my eye. I don't know why it fucking hurts. It's like I sat down to make a let's play and all of a sudden my throat fucking hurts, my eye fucking hurts. Batman's coming out tomorrow, I heard really fucking good things about it though. Don't know why the fuck my theater still doesn't play Uncharted. 
I still cannot find any way of watching Uncharted because my theater doesn't fucking play it. Fucking annoying the fuck out of me. Come on guys, do it. I should be worried that I'm getting shot at, but then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm bulletproof. Who cares? Nice fucking job, Yakuza pals. That's an interesting thing, like, Claude stays the most loyal to the Yakuza for the most part, but like, he's not loyal to them. He just kind of, just kind of fucking, you know, doesn't betray them as fast as all the other ones. I felt like he was the best, uh, the best with the Leonis, because I, I don't know. I just like the Leonis the most out of all the fucking gangs in this game. They felt like they had a character, like you knew their members and shit. You knew Joey, you knew Salvatore, you knew Luigi. There was Mike also. Tony. But with the Yakuza, are like, okay, you know fucking Asuka and you know Kenshi. Actually, I'm curious because I do not remember the story of uh, Liberty City Stories. I wonder how involved are the Yakuza in that game. Are they the bad guys? Because you play as Tony. So I imagine most of the missions you you take are from the Leonis themselves. So I wonder how much involvement does the other gangs have. I, I really want to fucking play through the Grand Theft Auto Stories games. And I have them on my PS Vita, that's why I wanted to play on my PS Vita a little bit, but like... I cannot fucking for the love of me log into the PlayStation Store on my PS Vita, I don't know why. It tells me to like go to the PlayStation app. And then, like, I have to log in to, from that. Like, I have to fucking do some kind of additional security check. But I cannot fucking find whatever it's talking about on the PlayStation app. I remember how PlayStation app for, like, a long while was pretty fucked up. And, like, I used to use the PlayStation app to just keep track of, like, discounts and games. Where I have a fuck ton of games on my wish list. And every time one goes on a discount, I'm, I get notified of that. And then they like removed the wishlist feature for some reason and it wasn't there for like a while. Because it took them a while because PlayStation app used to be separated into multiple different apps. Like the PlayStation Store app was a different app than like the PlayStation... Miguel, whatever the fuck. Has some of that famous Latin stamina. I'm quite what? exhausted. We underestimated Catalina's plans for I mean, dude was tied up to this for like probably over a day being whipped. So, yeah, pretty messed up. Maybe there is something like the famous Latin stamina. Man, I'm glad I got something to drink. Uh. Cruise around Liberty City and, and hope for the best. That's the objective of this mission. Yeah, so everybody hates Espresso to go because it's such a difficult mission, but... With this version of the game, at least it shows you which way to go to the next uh, coffee stand. So it's not that bad. And all you gotta do is bump into them and that's it. Like this. Uh oh. Alright, so... Let's cruise around here. <coughs> Actually, no. Let's go to Portland. Really quickly, I gotta go to Portland. Portland has a bunch of these coffee stands like really close to each other. So we're gonna see. I hope. Well, I know there's a coffee stand over there, and I should go to it, right? But like, I want to go to the ones in Portland first. Man, it's rainy. There's a bunch of them like around here somewhere. Around this street, there is one. There you go. I believe there's three over here in Portland. Uh, you can't do anything, I'm bulletproof. And am I glad this car is bulletproof? Best car in the game, pretty much. And the thing that sucks about it is that you might think like, oh, does, when it blows up, does it respawn? No, it doesn't. It's a one-time only car. Oh yeah, sometimes the Patriot spawns with the like... The, like like roof over the back. See the Leonis aren't very uh, happy to see me in the neighborhood. 
Oh, okay, I just have to slightly bump into them. Yeah, they, I would probably be dead already if it wasn't for the bulletproof car. Jesus Christ, what is with that guy? What the fuck are they doing? That guy freaked the fuck out. Okay, they might. there might be actually just two in Portland, because I don't see any more of them appearing. They appear like when you're in the neighborhood, so... Unless I somehow horribly fucking missed one. Like, let's say I was on the edge of finding it and then it just disappeared. Hope that's not the case, because then I'll be fucking mad. Let's go back to Staunton Island. Triads hate me, the Leones hate me. Jamaicans hate me, the Diablos hate me. Who the fuck doesn't hate me in this game? This game really fucking sucks when it comes to, like, post-game features. Like, in San Andreas, you can, like, I don't know, go gamble, you can do, like, some side missions, you can go to the stadium, do, like, stunt missions and stuff like that. You can go to the schools, you can take part in races. There's a lot of stuff to do in San Andreas post-credit... Post, uh, post-game, I guess. No, 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 fuck shit. But in this game, there's, like, fucking barely anything to do. Like, you can, I guess, do the paramedic missions and stuff like that. But at the end game, it's completely worthless doing those because you are being fucking harassed by every gang in the fucking city. Imagine doing taxi missions, but everybody wants you dead. You're fucked. That's it. Good luck with that. Alright, I know there's a coffee stand on, on one of the end of this island. I believe there's actually two. There you go. There's two next to each other. Alright, I think that's these two. Uh, one more, which I remember is on one of the ends of the island. And I guess the rest is on Shortside Vale. I was watching like a video game quiz on YouTube a while back, and one of the questions on it was... Uh, What's the third island in Grand Theft Auto 3? And I was like, I can't fucking remember. I remember Portland and Staunton Island. I don't remember the third one. Well, it's Shortside Vale. I think they said Staunton Island. That's the second one. Short side is right because it's fucking small. Should be one around here. There it is. Memory didn't fool me. Thank fucking god I played this game before. Well now, with four minutes, almost. Thank fucking god I'm bulletproof. Jesus Christ, can I not stress enough how fucking helpful that is? I don't want to blow like blow this car up because like yeah, it is bulletproof, but it's not damaged proof. So like, as you can see, I'm still like I damaged my car a little bit. I don't want it to blow up. All right, so around this way, I guess. People are mad. What the fuck? I didn't do nothing. Let's go to short side veil, and there should be two more around there. Press it to go in, that's fucking bad when you know what to do. 23 minutes in. Hope the bridge will be down, that'll be annoying. Ow, maybe I put something dirty in my eye because it fucking hurts. No, I can make it! I made it! Nice. Perfectly timed. I, I hoped kind of I would do like a cool stunt, but I didn't. Alright, I know there's a coffee stand to my left, but there's one if I go that way, so let's go that way first. Was that a car, like, waiting for me and to ambush me? What the fuck was that? I thought I saw a car that was, like, strangely kind of standing behind a tree. Also, you know what sucks about Short Side Veil? I have no fucking clue. Oh, it's over there. I don't remember the layout of, like, where the fuck is the pay and spray in this place. Like, on Staunton Island, I know it's next to where my hideout is. Next to the, like, parking garage. But, like, on Short Side Vale, I have fucking no clue where it is. It's just, like I said, there's, like, not enough missions taking place here for you to memorize the pattern of it, because every time... Every time you're ordered to go to Short Side Vale, you're ordered to, like, go here, do something, and then go back. You're never, like, driving around in Short Side Vale too much. Which actually makes me wonder, how is it... How is Short Side Vale... Uh, utilized in Liberty City Stories? I really gotta play that game. I'm more, actually... 
Because I think Vice City stories I actually played through a lot as a kid, so I kind of remember a lot of missions. Vice City stories is fucking amazing, by the way. Might be my favorite Grand Theft Auto game. What other Grand Theft Auto game has Phil Collins in it? Like, Phil Collins as himself. I did it. Well, I meant to hit you, fuck you. There's a statue with a traffic cone on his head. What's it say? For those who fought the f for freedom, 1986. Don't know what it means, don't know what it's a reference to. What the fuck? It's a plane. But it was like, freak the fuck out. Also, yeah, they still didn't fix the fucking street patterns over here. They still look like a fucking avant-garde painting. Maybe that's what they were going for, who knows. Who knows with these fucking idiots. Alright, 25 minutes, I don't know if I'll be able to make it back to Asuka and do one more mission for her. I guess I could try, also why am I not doing the Donald Love missions? I don't know. I kind of don't remember why, I, I had a reason. I think it's... I don't know, what the fuck. I think the last mission for Donald Love is, uh... Well, it's not kill Asuka. I don't think Asuka dies. Oh, no way, she does. She does die in this game. That sucks. I like Asuka, actually. She was, like, the only one who didn't betray me. I was being a huge dick to her, but she'd never been a bitch to me. She was actually nice to me. She gave me an apartment. I like to imagine that that fucking apartment that Claude has on this island, because you never get to see a little bit of inside like you do in Portland. I imagine it's like super fancy. I mean, there's a fucking elevator leading to it. She did call it a warehouse, so I guess Claude lives, lives in a warehouse. Well, I don't know, I like to imagine it's like a fancy, schmancy apartment. Got a bunch of cool shit in it. How long is this episode? 27 minutes. I don't know, depends on what this mission's we about. Some more now or just wait to turn black and fall off? Give it a quick prod. Not disgusting. Oh, what is that gooey yellow stuff? Hey, babe! My handyman. I, I was bored, so I came over to keep a suka company. She's got the makings of a natural, this girl. She's managed to extract this little gem to Two quote-unquote cute girls. Francis International in two hours Hell time. yeah. It is full of Catalina's poison. You can avoid airport security. Quote-unquote, because they're low-poly fucking... The ...runway light buoys and shooting the plane down on its approach. Suka with her fucking cross-eyed. ...the debris and stash it. Oh, you be careful now, okay, baby? Now try the chili oil. I should try the chili oil. I don't think I want to try anything. Find a boat. Oh, Patriot, Patriot, Patriot. My poor little car. You know what? Fuck you. I ain't, I ain't getting rid of this car. I could find a boat. Sure, I could do that. What I can also do is go to my house. Leave the car there because... Oh, there's a car. Very nice. I got a replacement car already sitting here, nice. Plays the same music too. Well, it's because I set it to head radio. There's a radio station in this game that actually plays original music made for the game. Oh wait, it was like a radio station advertisement. I think it was for Flashback. I find it really cool how Flash FM was the music that, like, the radio station that played like popular fucking rock music in. Or pop music, I guess, in Vice City. And now it's flashed back, because it's fucking been... There's a 20 year difference between Vice City and this game. But the radio host is still the same girl. And now she's like a... Washed up... Radio host. <laughs> fucking spinning around. Why am I wanted? The fuck I do? I didn't do nothing, officer. This mission sucks, by the way. I hate this mission. A rocket launcher. I'll pick it up, thanks. I, you know what, I'll be honest with you, I don't, do not feel like doing the arc survival of all Let's Play. I mean, an episode today, but... I do want to get the packages before I finish this game. I should have really gotten them yesterday when I was playing a lot. 
around. I kind of forgot to do that. Yeah, so this mission involves me. I gotta get over here. I don't know why this Bowie specifically is the one that's marked. There's a bunch of Colombians, as you can see. I'm not sure the extent of their involvement. But let's just, in case, get the fuck rid of them. Yeah, so in a minute there's a plane that's gonna show up and you have to very accurately shoot it down. Which is the most annoying part. I see a lot of people in this mission like to do trick shots and you know how the game tells you to go here. But you don't need to go here, you just need to shoot down the plane. Like, Also try not to fucking get the boat stuck because you'll need it. Yeah, the, the plane is around, where can I see it? There it is. Fucking freaking out. So the plane is drunkly making its approach. Something fucking going on with the lighting in this game. What isn't fucking fucking up with this game? And the city looks kind of nice from far away. Really nice buildings. So now let's try to shoot this fucking plane. I got it, but all the packages are up there now, fuck. That's not... I didn't mean to do that. They meant to fall to the, in the water. Aye, aye, aye. Now I gotta fight Colombians for the stash. And now there's a helicopter chasing me around too. It's gonna start shooting. Leave me alone, you fucking helicopter piece of shit. And the Uzi really is the best weapon in this game. Yeah, so I, I kinda... I'm, I'm glad I succeeded in shooting down the plane. But I meant to shoot it down... What the fuck are these giant cocaine bags that are like, smoking? So much cocaine in them that they're... they're oozing it. Fuck you. Alright, one more package, where is it? Uh oh. I thought I got stuck on a wall. Give me the package. Package. Hello? Man, what the fuck, man? Oh, what the fuck did I just do? I pushed it in? I meant to, like, move it around a little bit. Oh, no. Package. Oh, you piece of fucking crap. I cannot believe this. I'm moving it around, but it's like, where the fuck did it go? Oh, no. What do I do about the package now? Oh my god, this was meant to be a quick mission. I was glad I succeeded pretty quickly. And now one of the last fucking package gets stuck in a wall. No, oh, fuck me, I guess. 33 minutes. And I'm not done with the mission. And there's no checkpoints. Shut the fuck up. And now I gotta get my Patriot, because uh, I didn't want it to get rid of it, right? So I... Ah, yeah, yeah, this fucking mission. This is a annoying fucking mission, okay? Oh my god, and I got the plane down pretty accurately, too. And fuck off, I was trying to drive into my house. Oh, the car is gone, the other one. Whatever, they still give me plenty of time to get to the fucking... Uh, to the boat and get the rocket launcher and all that. That's not a big deal. What is a big deal, though? It's why the fuck that package... I fucking stood in front of it, I stood on top of the package and then I pushed it into a wall. Uh, I can't believe it. 
And I, when I saw it, I was like thinking, oh god, that package got stuck somewhere, now I can pick it up. And then I saw it, and I was like, oh no, it's just, out, just down there. I see. And then it actually did get fucking stuck. Oh my god. This game uses a lot of graphics from Grand Theft Auto V. Like, for example, we just passed an advertisement for Fly Us, which is like a airline from Grand Theft Auto V. I don't think it was present in this game, in the original version. Another thing about this game, actually, no, about GTA V most more, is that... Oh, there's something over there. There's a shotgun over there. I don't really need a shotgun. Yeah, isn't fucking next week there's like Grand Theft Auto Enhanced and Advanced or whatever the fuck it's called coming out next fucking week? Isn't that next week? Why the fuck don't we still have any any tra trailer for it? You know how this game, like uh, Rockstar, really just did not show us anything until the like last moment of this game. Well, now we know why, because this game looks like garbage. That's why they didn't show us any of it. Yeah, I saw a uh, video of somebody doing a trick shot on that plane. You can see the plane, like you can see the lights of it. You can see it very, very vaguely. Also, when I played this game originally, something glitched out on this mission. There was two clods. Yeah, I kid you not. There was, my boat blew up, and I had to restart the mission, and there was a clod in. And then, like in the water, there was another Claude in his boat driving animation. What's up with these Colombians? They take two shots to kill now. Excuse me, what the fuck? I'm bulletproof now? I, I am a little tight on time. Oh, Jesus. Are you okay? Are you still freaking out? Are the packages like... Okay, they're on top. Alright. They're on top. They shouldn't be glitching out anymore, okay? I know I actually might get rid of this fucking helicopter. It's pissing me off. Practice for the final mission. We gotta take down a helicopter. Final mission of this game is pretty, pretty annoying. Not gonna lie. It's mostly getting like I don't know. It's like it should be pretty epic. Like you storm a, a dam full of Colombians, and there's like a fuck ton of like people attacking you. And there's like a guy with a flamethrower. Some guy tries to ram you with a truck. A bunch of crazy shit happens in that mission. But like, I don't know. Just the execution of it is fucking lame and annoying. This game's not very cinematic. I would dare to even say this game is pretty retro by today's standards. Get the spank to the construction site. The problem with that is how the fuck am I gonna get it there? And lose all the cops. You know what? I have an idea. Which is not gonna work out now that I think about it. I thought of going back to this dock site over here, but I ain't gonna get there. You know why? Because there's no fucking way for me to get around like this. Unless I can go this way. We're gonna check it out. I don't think there's like too much uh, heat I can get when I'm in a boat. Yeah, I told you to keep the boat so you can still swim it. Well, now you know why. I hate how long this episode got. Well, if the fucking package didn't glitch out, then I would have already done this mission. It's a helicopter chasing me, but who cares? Also, these planes, are they really just taking off, doing a fucking spin, and then going back? Just to simulate that there's actual fucking air traffic going on? Is that what it's called? Air traffic? And there's like a bunch of planes flying around? Can't see shit. Right now. I know what you were gonna say. When don't go to the toilet. Haha. <laughs> then you'll see shit, get it? Get it? It's funny. What is stuff. Now what I've been thinking about, because one of the games on my Let's Play list uh, I want to do is 
Danganronpa. I've been thinking about it and like... That'd be... What the fuck are they doing? Somebody's driving... Oh, is this... I think it's the uh, FBI trying to catch me, but they're like, Oh fuck, our cars don't swim, that's right. I hope there's no dumbass fucking pipe in the way. That'll stop me. What? There's two helicopters chasing me now. You might be saying, what the fuck am I planning to do right now? Like, what is my plan? Ah, uh, there is a fucking pipe blocking the fucking... Why do they do that? Can I not? Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I'm dead, guys. It was nice knowing you. How the fuck do I get to the construction? I mean, the construction site's pretty close, but how the fuck do I get there now? Okay, there was a... There was a dock over there. I guess I could somehow make my way over here. I think there's like a car around this dock. Okay, you know what? First of all, this is not a very good idea. I'll go here instead. Now, Claude, jump up! Oh my god, I'm getting fucked up right now. Claude, you might want to sprint, like your life depends on it, because it does. Ay ay ay. Stop, please, no? Oh shit. Bye.